Welcome to the GP Llama YouTube channel where I have some quick update information for Wahoo Element GPS cycling computers. Now this update applies to the current generation Bolt 2 and Rome 2, the previous generation of both of those, the Bolt and the Rome, and the original, all the way back to 2016. Yes, the original Element also gets an update. Now before getting into today's details, just a quick recap of what we've seen this year from Wahoo, starting off with Summit Freeride on the Rome 2 and the Bolt 2, showing us detailed climbing information without the need to follow a route. In addition to Summit Freeride, Wahoo gave these units the ability to look ahead for the elevation profile of the road that you're on, even when you're not on a climb. This elevation profile look ahead hasn't been seen on any other head unit and I do think it's absolutely brilliant. More recently, Wahoo rolled out the ready to ride start menu update for some of their newer units, which has a much improved sensor management menu. And just over a week ago, according to the change logs over here on wahoofitness.com, they've done a refresh to their global mapping on these devices. Having updated maps is super important to get the best out of navigation, summit and summit free ride, and anything else that involves mapping on these units. How do you do the updates? Well, let's have a look right now. Firmware updates happen automatically on the Element units, but the maps do not. So you'll need to head over to the Element app, scroll down, and that little red dot next to Manage Maps is an indication there are updates available. You can do update to all local maps by clicking right there, or if you don't have time for that, and you just want to update your current maps where you're about to ride outdoors, you can dive down a little further. So here I'm going to Australia and queuing the update for just Australia. I won't be heading to the Cook Islands or Fiji anytime soon, so I'll update those at another time. Those updates are now queued. You can scroll down and see the downloading happening there on screen. Now, what I'm not sure what was happening with the CDN here in Australia. That took 25 minutes to download the 378 meg update today. I'm hoping it's going to be a little faster for future updates, but that did take some time to come down. I've sped that up. You can see the clock there on the iPhone. All right. And when done, those will refresh automatically in real time. Now, while you're here, if you do need to clean out some space on the element units, this is where you do it. Now, for example, here I'll go and manage maps back into United States. Now, I don't want to put down the updates for those. I won't be going to the States anytime soon with this unit. And I'll hit delete and you can see America being nuked very, very quickly. And it's just now I've come to the realization that I probably shouldn't have used that term. Okay, the American maps are being deleted off my Rome. Okay, YouTube, get that. Don't, don't transcribe this. This is not going to be a good thing. All right, okay, so a lot more space freed up on there. There are still some maps to update, but I can do that at a later date. All right, maps are updated. Okay, and finally, a very left field comparison that you probably didn't expect to see here on the channel, a golf course mapping comparison. Now, it just happened to be that I rode past this golf course the other day and noticed that the fairways were shown in detail on the Rome 2 with these updated maps. And it got me thinking, what did the other units look like when I rode past with a golf course? Well, here is the Bolt 2 with the updated maps. The trails are still there on this golf course, but just not the level of detail showing all the fairways. And to compare that to another unit that I'm familiar with, the Edge 1040 Solar from Garmin, and no fairways shown on the golf course. So there it is. If you want to ride past a golf course and see the most detail, use a Rome 2. Now I do appreciate this test has no relevance whatsoever, but I did think it was interesting. The differences in detail there between those three units. In addition to those global map updates, Wahoo also list a few other miscellaneous changes and fixes. They fix turn-by-turn -turn alerts that were shown too early in some scenarios, duplicate batteries being shown for AMP Plus radar devices, and the generic catch-all for change logs, bug fixes, and stability improvements. Now, running back a few weeks prior to that, they did fix the grade, ascent, and descent missing on first-generation element bike computers. They also fixed the DI2 shifter batteries that were not being reported. They now are being reported in the sensor menu. And lastly, they updated the main menu scrolling responsiveness. Now, I believe that change log line is across all of these units. Personally, I didn't really notice any different scrolling around. The most significant change they made to the speed was probably around two years ago, where page changing was really boosted. That was quite the update. All right, so that's it. As I said early on, just a quick update on what's new. And again, it's great to see Wahoo supporting both previous generation Bolts and Roams and the original dinosaur, this one, still kicking along. Hey, look, if you still are using an original element, let me know in the comments below. I'm just keen to see how many people are still using the OG. All right, with that, we'll leave it there. As always, if you found this informative, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe to be across more videos on this channel, and thanks for watching.